two decades after the death of her beloved sister, the Queen has made an incredible acknowledgement of the role played in Princess Margaret's life by her toy boy lover, Roddy Llewellyn. I can disclose that the retired landscape gardener, who had an eight-year affair with Margaret, was granted special permission to visit her final resting place on the anniversary of her death on Wednesday. Llewellyn, 74, paid his respects to her in the King George VI Memorial Chapel in Windsor. After the princess's death in 2002 at the age of 71, her ashes were placed in the tomb at St. George's Chapel to rest alongside the remains of her parents, George VI and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. Sir Roddy, who inherited a baronetcy upon the death of his brother, Sir Di Llewellyn, in 2009, has turned down many lucrative offers to divulge the secrets of his relationship with Margaret. Their affair, which was revealed after photos of them embracing in mystique in the Caribbean were published, hastened the end of her marriage to celebrated photographer the first Herliv Snowden. Sir Roddy, who now lives in a village in southwest France, had apparently asked for permission to visit Margaret's grave. The Queen is the only person who can grant access to the royal family's tomb. Going to Windsor was an enormously important moment for me, he told friends at a reception following the Chelsea funeral of conservationist John Rendell, at which Roddy was an usher. After two years of having absolutely nothing in my diary, I had two crucial dates, to go to St. George's and to be at John's funeral. Very kindly, Mel, Rendell's wife moved the time of John's service so that I could go to Windsor in the morning and be at his funeral in the afternoon. Sarati went on to describe how tiny the space was in the royal crypt, observing, I don't know how there will be space for the Queen, there is hardly any room next to King George and the Queen Mother. He added that it had been Margaret's express wish to be cremated, and that she did not want to be interred at Frogmore, the normal burial ground for lesser royalty, which she viewed as too gloomy. Thus, on the day of her funeral, the princess's body was driven from Windsor Castle to Slough Crematorium for a municipal cremation. She was simply listed as number 8 at the crematorium. Can you imagine that? exclaimed Sarati. He was 17 years her junior when he met the princess at a house party in Scotland and they began an affair. The couple were criticized after they were snapped at her Caribbean villa, with one headline blaring, Give up Roddy or quit. The Queen was said to be despairing of her sister's gutter snipe life but Margaret refused to end the relationship. Sir Roddy, whom the princess once referred to as my last great love, remained on good terms with her long after their passion had cooled. In 1981, he married Tatiana Soskin, an old friend, and Margaret became a regular visitor to the couple's home in Warwickshire. One of the princess's closest friends, Lady Anglin Connor, said, after Princess Margaret's funeral, the Queen said, it just like to say, Anne, it was rather difficult at moments, but I thank you so much for introducing Princess Margaret to Roddy because he made her really happy. Nicole proves blondes have more fun. Will Nicole Scherzinger still be recognized by her rugby star boyfriend Tom Evans? The pop singer, 43, has undergone a dramatic makeover, with her usual dark hair dyed blonde. She's shared this photograph of herself in a striking one-shouldered red dress slashed to the thigh. Scherzinger explains that she's having a little fun. Let's hope that former public schoolboy Dom, 36, likes the transformation. Has been going out with the one-time X Factor judge since 2020. She was previously courted by Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton. K. 
hates in the doghouse. With her cat look out Kate Beckinsale, or you'll be in trouble with pet lovers. The Hollywood star has been accused of causing distress to her cat, Willow, after sharing a video of her wearing a life-size poodle mask while on all fours. The white Persian cat can be seen retaliating by clawing at the snout of Beckinsale's mask. Your cat is going to need therapy, chides one fan. The daughter of late Porridge star Richard Beckinsale jokes, so, we're not getting a poodle. Cat videos are a sensitive subject after West Ham footballer Kurt Zuma was seen drop kicking and slapping his pet Bengal Moggy. Beckinsale, 48, has signed a petition calling for him to be prosecuted. Get flexible with Yogi Viscountess fancy a stretch class with Britain's most flexible aristocrat? I hear Julie Montague, wife of Viscount Hinchingbrook, heir to the 11th Earl of Sandwich, is now qualified to teach yoga online. The American, 47, who starred in the reality TV series Ladies of London, was accredited by the Yoga Alliance following 200 hours of training. It's brilliant she says. Even just 15 minutes can give you more energy yet make you feel more tranquil. Any takers? Jamie Theakston had his application to build a trendy outhouse in his garden rejected by planners last month after neighbors claimed it was an attempt to create a beds-in-shed style facility. But the actor and presenter, 51, is not taking it lying down as he has now filed an appeal. Locals set the plans at his £6. Five million house in West London were excessive in size and harmful to the wider conservation area. Self-important BBC presenter Nick Robinson says has barely recognised since he underwent an eye operation which meant he no longer needs his trademark specs. I met a friend for dinner last week and he walked past me three times, the presenter, 58, tells me at the launch of Today program colleague Justin Webb's childhood memoir, The Gift of a Radio, at Daunt Books in Marylebone. I was waving at my friend frantically saying, I'm over here, I'm over here. He just didn't recognize me. Robinson adds, I was in a pub watching the rugby at the weekend and nobody noticed me. Then, when the game finished, I put my glasses on and a bloke over the other side of the bar shouted, It's you! I knew it was you, 